this guy knows how to click. Oh yeah, this guy knows how to click. Oh, we start right side short. We have Deagle. I think he did Deagle last time on Killjoy. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, this guy's a god. A little something that I'm kind of curious about. We start the round, right side short. This is pretty common. You start peeking out here. Are you thinking about what kill you're looking for here or are you just kind of like looking for something? In general here, I'm just looking for a fight. I expected one to be peeking out of you hole because that's how I tend to play here. And then with the smoke, I figured they'd be like holding further back to try to you know get somebody trying to push out of that. And then okay. it was a complete opposite. Yeah, this guy's playing shorty. Okay, so the, the only reason why I want to point this out is because anticipation is really really good so when you're coming up short here i want you to think about what fights you can get you mentioned u-haul but we don't look at this angle so if this guy went aggressive a short you're instantly dead crosshair placement is really good on this but the we didn't actually peek for this active angle you kind of just shift walked okay. into it and like oh that's an angle right so just right. understand that you can die there in the first two seconds of the round that exists okay. right so this this angle exists this next fight is good too Do this um, so this is an, another fight and then if you are playing against vertical agent and you have to be worried about this angle and then eventually top of tank which you can't see but just breaking down these common angles um, I just like to break them into fights so as a random player this is something you should be actively thinking about am I going to be fighting this angle this angle this angle and then approach the round eventually it'll be second nature does that make sense yeah then when you kind of walk up here same thing okay where can they be when you peek out here you peek for heaven which is great right and then the next I is triple just thinking about this you know it's very easy to think about okay i'm jumping on the smoke what angles will i be open to heaven is one triple is two and then eventually it will be pocket and i think you do this well here unfortunately this guy it's a shorty kill because he can see your foot in the smoke so that's kind of a scary thing about the smoke but i like to play so round two we win pistol we don't buy much so this is always a difficult question to ask in terms of managing economy i think if you win round one you should almost always buy round two what you buy on round two definitely depends but at the very least you need to be buying armor and you need to be buying a decent gun so in your case you buy deagle eventually you switch this out if you're gonna buy a gun in round two it should almost always be stinger specter or guardian bulldog this this quadrant here very rarely will you extend this quadrant to buy the phantom or the vandal if you've gotten kills on pistol round and the bomb plant and have enough money where you can buy light armor and buy the rifle but for now let's hold off on the rifles and stick it to these three guns stinger bulldog and specter does that make sense yep absolutely so we're walking up here. We don't have money for flash, so I'm assuming this round's gonna be simple though. <laughs> Again with the shorty? Okay, this guy's a god. Unfortunately, we don't have a good initiator to kind of clear that smoke out. We don't have the util. Like in your kit, you can't do anything. You just have to face the smoke. Reyna is an, an agent that like struggles really hard against close range duels because the flash does nothing. So you do kind of like want to favor long range duels or medium range duels. And then if you are in a close range duel, you have to ask for util. But in your case, I don't want you to think too much about it because we're in silver. Okay, first gun round. Let's look at the buy. This is kind of important for Reyna. You have Vandal full armor, which is great. But we have zero flashes so as a quick reina tip you should almost always go light armor so you can afford double flash okay double flash is very important because if you think about it that's the only thing in your kit that you can use going b long is fine the peaks are good right we're pre-aiming then we're peaking okay this is a movement thing but notice how you're walking up on the angle here holding w in this angle right you can see this w if this guy were to swing you you're gonna die because you're moving forward in this line while he's moving horizontally like this right so right, how can okay. how can you kind of make this better hop over to this cover so you could zigzag your routing here you go from here to this wall and then you kind of like zigzag up the angle this way and it's a little bit important to do this as well because they have a flash agent um they have rana and ko so they could pop flash and kill you long okay so he peeks the angle like this with ads you know you could also just peek it like this there's also a little trick that you can do is jumping up here get the angle um so you can start the round and then get on this ledge you can't do it from back here oh. unless you have updraft oh, wait actually you can so i'd stand corrected you can actually boost up here i just learned that i thought you had to do it from back here but you can actually start the round and go up here which is nice but you can off angle that um when you're scaling up long against a flash agent walking up like this is very bad because then if they just flash and swing you you die or if they wide swing you you die because you're holding w on an angle right so there's two ways you can dodge the flash here you can kind of jiggle and hold for a little bit and then if they don't do it you can kind of assume they won't do it later or you walk up at the angle and then you kind of like tuck into the wall cover here and then come back out and then when you kind of walking up here you cl clear the angle and then you come back and then this lets you clear your left side and then you kind of come back out to clear close zigzagging up a little lane helps a lot so you don't get timings if you're enjoying the content please consider subscribing we are halfway to hitting our goal of 50k subs I like how everyone's just dying in hookah 
Ja. Premium peaks here are pretty good, actually. You can make it a little bit cleaner if you jiggle in and out, because this wall is close to you. So by peeking out like this, when you stop, the guy that's backside right now kind of can see you. Or if this guy's on this angle, it can kill you. So sl slicing the pie as you come into sight when there's an angle close to you is very difficult. You might consider like jiggling in and out like this rather to bait shots and get info on the site instead of deady peeking. So deady peeking is a term that I heard from Silent X, but it basically stands for dedicated peeking. Dedicated peeking is you just peek out and like you peek for the common angle and like looking to kill them and like in these examples like dedicated peeking you might do for cubby or you might do for close angles like this when you're like you're really sure that someone's going to be there like you did with the sage but when you're coming into sight and you have angle disadvantage it might be better to kind of jiggle out to get info i see okay one thing I want to talk about here is the way we took this duel on the cipher you jump up by spotting him here which is kind of dangerous and then you jump onto the ledge here and he's not aware. The higher elo you get, the worse it's going to be. So I'll show you kind of how you can jump into hookah. Maybe you, instead of jumping up like this, where you can expose to the angle and they can kill you, get close to the far left wall and then jump up and then peek out. This way you never have to take a duel and expose to an angle without having a proper peek. Instead of jumping up here, let's go on the left, jump up and then peek out. And then when you jump out and peek like this, you won't jump and peek and expose the angle like this on the cipher. So you could peek out on the ledge, clear the angle, jump up and then clear more angles. I see. Okay. So I think in the bot, I see him for like a split second as I'm jumping on the ground. Yes, um, yes, the, the first bots. time. And that's kind of why it's I, bad. I, see I see. But yeah, you want to avoid actually even exposing that info jump here in the first place by hugging the left wall. Because if he's mm -hmm. good or if he's on the box, you'll die. Right. And then of course, healing there. You can cancel your dismiss. I don't know how much you've been playing Reyna, but you can cancel it early. Oh. And then, yeah, I mean, that's just a gamble whether he spawned or flank. That is what it is. Looking for the showers duel is good. The peaks look good too. You're actually doing short peaks. Believe it or not, I have a hard time teaching people that. We're a little bit scared of this cage though. So, Dro asked, would you hold a little wider showers? It's a good question, but since, be since it's a long angle, like the guy can stand full back on the wall and we're also full back on the wall it's a far angle like a far fight so holding a little bit close is fine yeah i try to get them to rotate through spawn yeah that almost never works in, in the lower ranks mm -hmm. nice kill peaks nice I definitely see you're matching your movement with your aim a lot better now. Yeah. It looks a lot cleaner. We do need to work on the speed a little bit of when we get this skill and your heal to move your crosshair to the rain a little bit quicker. Because as you're uncovering this angle, your crosshair is like really far from the edge, which is fine. But it looks like because of that, you're not really ready for this guy to tap back in. But you get the kill regardless, so good kills. The big thing I would change here is just don't play the round so slow. We shift walked all the way up showers, got scared by a cage, and then it took us another five seconds to take the showers. So by the time we actually clear showers, it's 112. Like we didn't do it. Our sage and our omen did it. So we need to be first contact. And second of all, we need to be a little bit quicker because it should not take us 25 to 30 seconds to clear the first angle in showers. You just swung on the back wall, which is fine. Because once you clear this angle, that means the only danger is if they swing you here. So if you run up and hug the wall here now of course if you just swung out dry it would have angle on you but then you can if you're close wall you can just use your flash and get the angle back pick the angle and then you know if they don't shoot the flash then you should have showers and the way i like to do it once i'm at this point if i don't have util is just jump peek this angle by jump peeking this angle i clear this doorway which is sometimes scary and then i can use a dedicated peek to clear this deep corner that's kind of how i do it i get close oh that's clear and then boom kill this guy there's that flash. Yep. It is very hard to go for that long range duel against the flash. Like if you're playing against a sky or something and they pre-flash you and then the jet post with the off, it is scary. So against flash agents, you do want to go close wall. Ooh, nice threshold with the flash. That's good. Nice. Oh yeah, 
this guy knows how to click oh yeah this guy knows how to click okay round over big the only thing that i really want you to consider here is looking at your mini map when you use info utility so what i mean by this is thrash is obviously the best version of this but skydog and silver drone watching this back i want you to only look at the mini map okay okay cypher hookah now he runs in the cubby you saw reina spawn and then you then see sage and hookah tp and then in one point you can actually see all three right so now you're actually only looking for brimstone if you're able to get all of this information i don't expect you to get all of this information but what i do expect you to do is to understand where their site player is so as soon as this thrash clears site and then you see the cypher here maybe you don't even see on the first glance but when you see it here, your job then is to kill this Cypher player and not take Elbow. Because you're the entry here. And you need to clear site space first. I see, okay. And then as soon as you kill that guy, you, you can take Elbow. And I'm not saying it's bad that you go in Elbow. Elbow control will lead into the round win in most players' plants. So if we take this like one level further, in Radiant, for example, this play would be good because you can rely on your teammates to kill the guy that's detained on site, right? If we're taking it like high, high level. But here, we're not making that decision because of a high level thought. We're thinking, oh, there's nothing Elbow, there's no smoke here i'm gonna go elbow at least that's what i'm assuming and we don't even know where the site player is because you didn't look at the threshold so i think i had an idea that thrash was going to the right and i heard that thrash got a hit i just figured i'd leave that kill for the team and then try to take as much space as i could like in the i don't know what to call it back hall yeah where yeah reina is gotcha like fight this this spawn lane yeah that makes sense the thing that i will say is the key thing is that you leave that kill for your team that most likely won't happen every single time like we want that site execute to be at the highest conversion possible there is a chance that like that guy gets detained, but the Reyna spawn kills your omen. He doesn't get that kill and then the cypher stays alive. You see? I see what you mean. As a duelist, securing site space is priority number one. And two, we can't really trust your teammates to clear the site. Like, I see, okay. And then when you get into really high levels, like the spawn smoke will be there so that this Reyna can't kill that guy. And then the kill Joe and Molly spawn so that guy can't run out. But we're not there yet. So it's more so that we shouldn't really be trusting our teammates to get kills. We need to be in the position to get kills. And I want you to think that way until you or send it to be honest okay so dro says is there a secret to looking at minimap while walking on site i like to think about it if i have info you to like this i'll just tuck behind a wall and then look at minimap or like if i already peek an angle there's nothing there so there's not really a secret okay so we looks like we do have a lurk this guy was god with the shorty we run away i respect it i wouldn't fight this guy either okay so one thing i want you to notice look at us and then look at our teammates right i'm not saying this is bad but i want you to consider it because the further away you are from your teammates the less impact you have in the round just directly right if these guys all die without you there you can't do anything right. and even if you get a kill b you can't capitalize off of it because these guys are here so it's a good thing to do occasionally to be separated from your team because you get more map control but as a general rule of thumb trying to stay with the pack or being close enough to the pack is good so if they go showers you go short another thing that i want you to consider here is the way we take this angle isn't bad but it's slow we shift walk all the way up by the time we're here it's 1 30 it's not bad but our teammates are already making contact on this guy right so what, what can you do as a random player you have your flash for a reason your flash lets you take early fights really quickly so if you start left side short you can insta flash and just swing short if there's nothing there you can run up clear your left and then flash again and swing up then this will let you use both flashes in a span of 10 seconds, but then also be much more active and closer to the sight hit, right? If you just double flash like that on round start, boom, if he's there, you push him off or you get the kill and then you can do it again and then kind of execute. And then if they're not breaking the flash, then you can kind of just run in with it, you know, and use it as like a, a quick execute. Whereas like the fights that you've been taking so far is primarily focused on getting good fights for yourself fundamentally, which is a good thing, but it's time to speed it up a little bit since you're playing right now. So it's just walking up here, getting close and then peeking like this angle like fundamentally this looks sound right but all your fights so far have been by shift walking and slowly peeking one by one you're like walking up long ads you're walking up showers really slow as well and like the slower you play the more you give your time to, for your teammates to die so if you want to think about it in that way like you're racing against the clock to get a kill before your teammates die i know it's not the best way to think about it but it's one way to get you playing a little bit quicker yeah i know that makes perfect sense so we, we had no impact that round we killed a cypher whatever but they had the site this is also about utilizing yourself to get more impact and impact kills typically are the first blood this omen just tps in the site and is smoked bigger chad <laughs> i love it our omen is just a, he's him ulted in the site ran along and judged the guy i didn't even see him tp yeah, he's winning the round by himself yeah okay so again looking at minimap that's three players i believe brim ko i might be missing one maybe it's just those two I'm in Skigger Chad, look at him. He's got both kills in the round. We kill the spawn guy. 
Okay, so let's look at mechanics here. The decision to fight spawn is good, but I just want to go ahead and say our omen did carry this round. He got the first blood and the second kill. Not saying that you can do anything about that, but that's the mindset that I want you to have. So when we walk in the cubby here, that's fine. When you uncover this angle, you kind of swish out on this angle, like whoosh, like uncover all of them. I don't know if that's the best way I can kind of explain it. Like you're kind of like sweeping the floor and sweeping the angle at the same time. When you're in a close tight angle like this, the best way I like to uncover these angles is by coming out on an off angle first. Uh, you'd go really wide so that you don't lose angle advantage or you crouch peek it and you go for like one of these you need to peek with intention and that's fundamentals of bombing right you can't just walk around this corner looking like this and then get the spray kill because he headshot us with the classic right there's a world where like he has a gun he insta kills you or he has a sheriff he kills you and he picks up your gun and he wins around because we lost a spawn fight so we have to make sure that this spawn fight we take is higher than a 50 50 and we can't right. get headshot by this this pleb silver player because this pleb silver pleb silver player is dinking us with the classic that means our movement and the way the way we peak that angle is bad, right? The way that you're peaking right now is at a pretty high level compared to your rank. So you need to make sure that you're doing that enough and your goal should be to get the kill before they even have a chance. And this guy completely had a chance against you. I see, okay. Just make sure when you peak, it's very intentional with good pre-aim and good movement. And then even here on this Reyna kill here, notice how you're like swinging out a little bit wide. Look at your crosshair. You're going for this angle here and then you readjust to the right because you do it all in one motion. After you kill the Cypher and you get the heal, peek for this angle and then peek for this angle and you split into two actions. Get the kill, peek, peek, right? And you can see I visibly pause before I swing the next one. Whereas like when you did it, you were like, well, oh, there's a guy here. Right, and this is the downside of just always wide swinging without like taking each angle as a separate one. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. So one question I have there is, is there like any rule of thumb for when to do the careful peeking and when to just kind of not be careful? If you know exactly where they are, you know, your your teammate was here, you kill the Cypher, you can see on minimap that he's in this deep right angle. Right? As soon as I kill this guy, then I'll just go here and swing like that. I won't even look here. So it's specifically only when you have info, which is why I recommend people play deathmatch without audio because then you won't have info Info, which will kind of narrow down this habit to so always peek carefully because you have literally no info see, okay. yeah, if you have info it's good and then if you use a flash you can go for a wide swing so let's say you kill this guy you pause a second then you flash the flash lets you go for the wide swing because it will block this guy off from killing you it's about safety here but if you don't use this flash and you swing for this guy this guy could kill you and then if you don't use your flash and you swing for this guy this guy could also kill you when you do this flash like you can swing even with this flash though you need to be intentional about what angle you swing because you could flash and swing and kill this guy you could flash and swing and kill this guy but if you flash and swing and you're looking here and he's on this side then you live so that's the benefit of this flash but you don't get the kill it's like a safety measure but if you're looking to insta kill the guy then of course you have to have good pre-aim too but that's like a whole different point using your flash will just cover up problems with your peeking i see okay we do go again we swing showers nothing there quick rotate this is good you might consider taking the teleporter which is good okay Unfortunately, we're not the best agent for that, but I like it. So how can you play this fast with good fundamentals? Okay. You ran through TP holding W like this to open the door. First of all, this is a W peak, so it's bad. So how do you do that instead? But you can get close and then peek out. Boom. And you can do it pretty quickly, right? You take the TP, you run up, and then you just AD peek. You see nothing? You can walk up and kind of start zigzagging the angle a little bit. Notice how I ran to the right side to cover the angle and then come back out and start peeking. Whereas like if you W peek like this, you're gonna be like, oh, if they're here, I'm dead. And that's exactly what happens. Going for the flank, probably run into a trip. So they TP'd back to B. Weird round. You made the decision to go flank the A guy instead of going to kill the B guy. I don't think I was aware of the B guy. I see. Like, mentally at least. Gotcha. I definitely got kind of dizzy with all them moving around and everything. Yeah, it's a lot of noise going on. So just really ironing out those fundamentals again. Repositioning long here is great. If you peek this angle, try to be a little bit more intentional about it because there's a possibility he's going to be here. It doesn't really matter because your gun hygiene wins, which is a good note to point out. It's like if you have good gun hygiene, like you can kind of have a chance to win bad opening engagements. But the higher elo you go, the way you, your initial engagement on the fight is going to be more and more important. But most of your kills right now, like you're winning because your gun hygiene and your aim is good. But the goal is to get your initial engagement as clean as possible so it doesn't get into the gun hygiene moment. So having the gun hygiene be something that's more of a fallback plan rather than the in initial I'm just better than them kind of thing. Exactly. Which it's a good thing to have 
because like that's why you're getting kills. But the higher rank you go, the less that matters because they'll just insta kill you. Right. Your omen uses flash, which is great. Just make sure you use your flash, especially when you're coming out of a smoke. If you pair your flash with this double peek here, you're gonna get a lot of kills. But if you run out with without the flash, you realistically should just insta die. But thankfully your omen gets the kill. And these guys don't insta kill you because they were blind by omens, which is good on him. Your omen's playing really well this game. He's he's making plays, he's using his flash, he's pushing out of smokes, you know, he's making these plays. We just gotta make sure you use your flash so you can make these plays without the help of this guy. So peeking these angles aren't too bad. I see, okay. Oh. <laughs> So initial flick speed is really good. Look at this. Okay, we don't care about this, but this initial flick after this kill to the Reyna is very quick. I don't know if people in chat can notice this, but this is pretty good technique. And it shows because I've, you've been aim training. That is very good technique. The thing to maybe work on aim wise then is matching your tracking speed. The way I like to call it is speed matching. So when this target is moving here, the Sage, your crosshair is trailing behind the guy, which makes sense, but he is literally shift walking and he's pretty far away. So speed matching, if we're, trouble, if we're having trouble speed matching from 40 meters away, when he's shift walking, then that's a focus point for you. This flick here is bad. We talked about the other flick being good with initial flick speed. This one's kind of bad because you drag your crosshair over. Yeah, I definitely have a lot more difficulty with like really long flicks like that. And you know, that's just something you have to practice with. It's only been five days since you lowered your sensitivity. But you're using a different muscle group here. The small flick that you did from here to here is your wrist. Doing this to this is your arm. You just have to get a little bit more used to that. One thing I started doing to help with that is the lighter shot 180. You can do it in the range as well by doing easy bots, looking the other way, listen to the spawn noise, and then turn around when it spawns. I see. Okay, okay. Kind of establish you know how to shoot gun. These guys don't know how to shoot guns, so your gun hygiene is getting you the kills. And the thing to talk about more is how we approach defense and how we take these duels. I don't know if you noticed, but all of these duels we use zero flashes, which is fine. But after this kill, you might consider tucking and then trying to use your flash. We're kind of just a turret. You're winning off of these turrets, but we did not get to use our flash. If you're not going right, to use your okay. flash, then your positioning on the angle ideally should be in and off angle. If you don't have flash advantage, you have angle advantage. So go for the flank. Flanks are always good. I love flanks. Game belongs even better. I love flanking be long you're actually kind of smart flanking be long here let's see this free kill small thing when you play random and you have ult it's actually better to get rid of your gun hygiene and just spray the guy especially when they're this close you just hold down mouse okay. one and kill this guy you you up the time to kill if you have random ult, spraying is pretty good and then as soon as you get this kill think about flashing you notice how you just swing and then this guy kills you right we talked about that your initial engagement isn't strong so you just die so either you use the flash to speed up there or you actually take the time to insta swing this guy with proper fundamentals one thing to consider as a reina thing if you want to get info you just jump out to grab this dismiss so you can see if there's anyone else playing close and get more info on where they're playing if you do that because you're invincible and you grab this dismiss this guy can't kill you you're jumping when you grab it so it's unlikely you die but then you're dismissed and then you can get more info now you're acting as a yoru ult or you might consider it like you're a sky dog or something like that here you just said they have bad guns be careful they can buy but that's not the important part the important part is you're playing round start on this passive angle i don't care if they have money or not but you should never be starting spawn like this is a rotator position if they come b and they smoke you off you're gonna have to run through it so at the very least you should be playing a position that's in front of a smoke. Some positions I like to play. This top side angle is my favorite. If you're gonna play a passive angle at all in a B, just play this one. And then when they run in, you can wall bang them where you get the kill here. And you can bounce back and look at long. You can even play on this box and play this angle. Play this angle, depending on which angle your teammate has. Thank you for making it this far. If you found this video helpful, please consider joining my Discord server to get more helpful resources. Really just think about upping the pacing. Everything else looks good. For some offense notes, I'll say up the pacing by okay. fighting off barrier with a flash and i guess as reasoning we're playing fairly slow we want to race against the clock before our teammates die that's the reasoning another thing that you can do for offense is making sure you're being with the pack or somewhat close to them so trying to be on the same side of the map as your teammates is good because we don't want to be lurking reyna right now lurking is good but for the most part try to avoid it defense wise i just want you to be prioritizing off angles to get your kills and if you're not on an off angle using flash to swing on a kill youtube thinks that you will find this next video helpful